Two hit is go back, 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 back. So I'm going to be using my long sleeve shirt as to create my pattern. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. And then I mark my shoulder to waist measurement onto it. Mine was around 15 and a half. It's around 15 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 15 and a half. Then go ahead and fold it. On the pattern paper, I drew a, a line that was about one inch and drew, and drew it all the way. And I went ahead and laid my top over my piece of pattern and went ahead and traced it all the way around. This the sleeves on the side like this so that you can be able to sketch out the the armhole I did sketch out the the front I mean the neck around line. the neckline go you're going thing. to skip that don't trace it out you're going to just come on your pattern paper Go down one inch and connect it from the shoulder. Then go ahead and connect your dots together. So go ahead and draw a straight line here. And make sure this line is equivalent to code of your code of your bust. That means your around your bust divide by four and it should be the same thing to I'm the going waist to add an inch to the waist then i'm going to add half an inch for similar ways so i'm going to add one and a half and then add half an inch all the way around half an inch there, half an inch on the bottom for, for similar ways. Go ahead and add an, half an inch all over around the sleeve. Then you're going to trace out the pattern on a different piece of paper and cut it out. Our back center is 14 inches. You remember this was our half an inch similar was for the shoulder. So our back neckline is about 13 and a half to 14 inches. So I'm going to put 14 inches here. Then I will just add an inch. I'm going to cut another one for the front, but this time I'm going to fold my fabric in two. So our center front is around 12 inches, so I'm going to measure 12 inches, go ahead and cut it. And see where you want your cross, your how far much you want it to be open so i don't want mine to be so much open so i'm going to measure from my neckline and measure four inches that's how wide it, that's how much i want it to be and then i'll go ahead and i'll just draw a straight line 
depending on how much open you want it to be you can go more further down i'll add half seam allowance and then cut it out you know, my bottom is going to for be the bottom part. 41 inches I'll go ahead and mark so I'm one go inch ahead seam allowance on top one inch over here then i'll go ahead and mark out my full length which is 41 inches from my waist to my ankle so i marked 41 inches at the bottom and at the top we're going to mark we are going to go ahead and mark our from waist to hips my waist to hips is about like eight inches so i've got to mark eight inches across my pattern paper eight inches and draw a straight line okay so this is our waist this line is going to be our waist this line is going to be our hips hips and this is our waist so for our waist all i'm going to do i'll just use my pattern paper that i use for the top put it on here and mark so that's our waist on our hips we're going to divide our hips by four my hips my hips is 41 divided by four is 10 25 so I went ahead and marked 10 25 on here 10 25 then I added half an inch for ease. So that will be like 1075. Right. I'm going to go ahead and use my hip ruler and connect this. Again, if you have no hip ruler, just do it free-handedly, very nicely. So I'm going to go to my bottom part. So like I told you my hips is my cord of my hips is 1025. So the down part I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and mark half of my hips on here. Half of my hip. I mean, I'm going to, to put cut of my hips. The measurements I put there. I'm going to go ahead and mark them on here too. So after marking them, I'm going to go ahead and add five more inches. Then I'll connect it with a straight ruler from my hips to the bottom. I'll be using this beautiful straight fabric and I'll be cutting the bottom back first. After using the, the bottom to cut the back, I'm going to go ahead and lay it on a different piece of paper and trace so it out, then I tape it. I copped this, this bottom part to another piece and I put it together so that it can be all full, like a full skirt. So basically what I'm going to do is since this is a wrap skirt we are going to go all the way to the bottom so i'm going to be from the bottom 
and I'm going to come in 17 and a half. So depending on how much you want open. So I really don't want it so much open, so I'm, I'm going to do 17 and a half. Then I'll add my one inch for seam allowance. So I'm going to connect this part here to the waist. The, where I'm going to draw a straight line from here to the waist. I wish I could show you the whole thing, but when I draw the straight line, you're going to see it. I place my Lola over there. That's how it looks like. Right, of these. I finished cutting all my pieces and it's time for sewing. Don't forget when you're cutting your sleeves, you cut them on fold. And when you're cutting the two front pieces, make sure the right sides face each other. And the wrong sides face up order for this one to be able to cross this way. Alright. So it's time for sewing. I'm going to put the back and the front together. Just like this. I'm going to be using my serger. You don't have to use a serger. If you don't have one, just use your regular sewing machine. Okay, so I finished putting my front and back together. I'm going to go ahead and insert my sleeves. After inserting my sleeve, my sleeves, I'm going to go ahead and put everything down. I'm going to go and sew all the way and sew the, the sides too. Then I sew this other side as well. I finished putting my bottom together. I put this is the front, it drops all the way to this end, and then this one too wrap into this side so this is our top and these are our sleeves so I'm going to go ahead and okay before I'm going to first hem this I'm going to fold it and sew around then I go ahead and attach it to the bottom so Go ahead and and hem your front part piece. Make sure if you don't, I use the serger first, and then I just flipped it and made a straight line. If you have no serger, you can just double fold and you sew. All right. So next, next we are going to be connecting this to the bottom part. So I'm going to do the same to the to the bottom part I did the, the top one so I'm going to do the so I pressed mine down to make it easier for me to sew finish the sides of my front you can see I really gave it two stitches two lines so that it can look like a like it was stitched with the cover stitch so this is how our top is looking like so we go to what we did today, 
so that's what we're gonna do to the bottom so that we, we put the front pieces together so I want I want this part inside I want this part inside and this one outside so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put this two front pieces together don't forget you have to follow the direction of this if in case if you had this come to this side don't do the mistake of having this side to be inside and this one coming this way so we're going to be a, a straight stitch just the front part so I finished putting this together as you can see how it's already coming out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this inside out, outside in, inside out. Mm, okay, inside out, and then we're going to get it and um, just put it in here like this because we're gonna be sewing it on here you can go ahead and pin it but in this case I'm, I'm not pinning anything but you can go ahead and pin your pin you can go ahead and pin everything down so that you like you it don't disturb you go ahead and pin down and then i'm going to go ahead and sew it so this is how our dress looks like so remember we left some inches on the front i mean when we were making the pattern we added some more extra inches so that reason is to add some elastic so we are going to go ahead and add some elastic to the front and the back around our waist so let's see i'm going to make my my waist measurements and i take away some inches you want to place your elastic on here and since it's shorter than ours we are going to pull the elastic as we saw let me show you it's always good to when you're using elastic to use your zigzag stitch okay and then you're going to pull as you saw this is how it looks after adding the elastic so I'm going to go ahead and hem the bottom and then I'll show you how the dress looks like thank you guys for watching please subscribe give this video a thumbs up thank you bye bye